Hi guys, so we are uh, at the hunt club today. Can I try to get some wonder worm? Me and my friend John are there. Um, so yeah, basically what we need to get it is a bucket, small bucket, uh, to get your water out of the hole. And um, yeah, then you just search for them. I'm gonna show you guys now. Now. So basically, what you're gonna look for is uh, rocks that has been undisturbed. And then you're gonna want to go down to the gravel pot and what's nice about uh, or what you look for is try and uh, dig against a, a big a big um, a bigger rock where the, the worm can't get past and uh, you just try and dig out the hole and see if you get anything if you don't get anything you just move on to the next hole all right guys so I got my first wonder worm here not a big one broke off somewhere always try try to to get the head first otherwise they break off in in sections so yeah let me carry on just found this little guy here no clue what fish this is but it's beautiful uh, yeah my friend got a nice one that's a beautiful size that so basically what you're doing here is you you go all against the reef because then they don't have any anywhere to go because they're quite fast quite fast in the water or in the in the sand that you find them in and it's best to ask someone that's local or, or um, close by to these areas about the way to find them um, because it can be quite tough and they're not they don't they don't get them everywhere so uh, here you can see is another one. It's right there against the reef. There it is. It's not a big one. Yeah, they count. They're only allowed to take out ten of them, I think. But in my opinion, it's one of the best baits to use um, when targeting Galloon, uh, Blacktail, Steambra, even. When they're fresh but you can also put them in a, in a salt water and uh, coarse salt brine solution which i will show you guys later on hi guys so i went digging some wonder worm yesterday so uh, what i'm going to do here is i took a two liter uh bottle and i i went to take <laughs> this is my little girl yeah so i um went to take sea water as well um, and then I bought this coarse salt. So I've already put a little bit in here. In here, I think I put a bit too much in there. I put in a three-quarter packet. Um, and as you can see here, there's salt still at the bottom. So what you do here is you're going to shake and you're going to shake until you get crazy. Or you can use a blender and put the seawater in there. And um, add the salt. And then just blend it until all the salt has dissolved then that effectively is your brine solution that you're going to put your worm in um, in this brine solution your worm is going to um, how can i say uh, it's going to become more firm so it's like kind of going to retract um, into a firmer worm <laughs> no pun intended um, and from from there you can keep it in the fridge um, it won't freeze um, and it'll, it'll preserve your worm perfectly fine um, so if you don't get to use all your all the worm that you got um, from your digging session then you can uh, you can keep it for the next session you don't have to throw it away um, yeah this works perfectly well for for blood worm uh, wonder worm and moonshine worm um, so yeah uh, it's very nice very nice uh, to use it some people prefer to uh, uh, put the worm in, in a newspaper and uh, cover them with coarse salt. That also works, uh, but I prefer this way. And then once your solution is fully dissolved, uh, all the salt is dissolved, you can use like, in my case, I'm using a um, baby cream um, tub that's empty and it was cleaned properly, um, leaving no residue of the cream. Or you can just use an old peanut, but peanut butter tub, anything 
uh, small that you can put the worm in and then from there into the freezer.